Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. He ran the light on Olympic. We finally collared him on temperature. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. I don't mind that you're talking, so long as you don't mind that I'm not listening. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Just pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we need to have... Source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. What's that click? more than the trumpet. We should follow up on the musician angle. He kept his stash close at hand. cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. 
They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. I want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Where were all these policemen when the crime was... Someone got to tell you what the hell is going on? What's a five-star goddamn weather? Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Undustunfuhrer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. You're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. 
This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words and very noble. But... Words are just words, Colfabs. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Risk losing the trail. 